Crossing over the Matthews Bridge in downtown Jacksonville, you'll notice this island stretching out underneath. It was created from the remnants of dredging operations in the 1940s and is known as Exchange Club Island Park. Since being designated as a public park in 1956, this beautiful 34-acre landmark has mostly been undeveloped, but Mayor Alvin Brown sees plenty of potential at this unique park. Now, thanks to technical assistance from the National Park Service, a grant from the Florida Inland Navigations District, and plenty of input from the public, the City of Jacksonville has a plan to make this local gym even better. The entire project will take a few years to complete. It'll include a floating dock, picnic shelters, kayak landing, nature trail, and potentially camping. And I think it's just a, a wonderful thing that we can have that people can say, you know what, I, I can go out there, I can park my boat, I can walk around the island and have a picnic. Uh, you know, maybe in the future we'll actually get some camping sites out there. So uh, to me, it's all about bringing the experience into Jacksonville, places that most people don't get to go. And that's what FINE's all about, is opening up the waterways uh, to give the average resident of Jacksonville a chance to use the waterways. Exchange Club Island is, uh, is a centerpiece for uh, people who want to use the river for recreation. Now it'll be managed, it'll have improvements, it'll be a place where you want to take your kids, and, uh, and it's a great place to see the river. And with the St. Johns River already being designated as a blueway, these island developments will spark even more ecotourism interest in Jacksonville. It's this green oasis surrounded by concrete uh, jungle. So as a boater or a paddler traveling through downtown Jacksonville, this offers a respite, a place to get out, stretch your legs in a green space. Uh, having canoe and kayak trails in urban settings is, is unusual, but they're immensely popular. And as you add facilities like Exchange Club Island, uh, you really increase the number of people who want to come out and actually you know, appreciate the river and, and, uh, and use it. The People Parks Connection is all about creating access and connecting more people with their parks. And the Exchange Club Island project will do just that for kayakers, boaters, hikers, school groups, and anyone else looking to explore this island treasure. For Jack's Parks TV, I'm Garrett Teague.